All right, guys, welcome to episode 14 of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED light. And you can probably tell by the sound of my voice that I am not very happy. I've been dreading doing this episode, and I really, really am disappointed in myself, and you guys are going to feel the same way. So I'll just show you what's going on here. This experiment was going so well. You can see over here on the Max Bloom side and the High Bay side, the plants have wilted. Now this wasn't by any weird disease or anything like that. And I'm going to tell you the solution for this in a, in a minute here, but first there are a few things I wanna talk about. Um, this happened because, like I said before, I've been really busy and it's been really hard to keep up with things. And it's entirely my fault. Uh, the reservoir I've been filling up with three gallons and then topping it off. But these plants, uh, especially with the fan blowing on them and with their size and everything and just the nature of the kind of plant that they are, they, they suck up so much water so fast that the reservoir got depleted and I forgot to check it and this literally happened in less than 24 hours. This is one of the downsides to hydroponics uh, versus soil. So if you don't water a plant in soil for some time, there's a bit of a buffer in there because it retains a little bit of moisture and you know the air is not getting at the roots so the plant will slowly start to wilt and usually you'll notice it and just adding some water will pretty much revive it. In this case, the reservoir ran dry really quickly and I did not catch it in time. I did add more water immediately and it didn't change anything. Um, now I do need to say that these plants aren't technically totally dead yet. Um, you can see here, you know, some of these leaves aren't completely wilted or dry. There's, they still have moisture in them. Um, which means that some of the stems are actually probably still getting a little bit of feed. So what actually probably would happen if I actually let this go, uh, parts, parts of the plant will die and other parts will repair itself, whichever uh, still has capillaries and veins and everything that are still connected to uh, good parts of our root system. So over here, uh, the only thing I'm really gonna say about the plants here uh, since the last episode is the one thing I noticed and this is something I've noticed before in other grows that I've done with a red blue LED um, I hope it's okay I don't have my white light on I really don't feel like turning it on right now there's nothing much to see uh, you could see what I'm talking about anyways if you look at these stems now this happened before before it wilted when it was really good and healthy you see how this stem is hanging over like this um, some of the other stems in the back, down back here, you can see that it's hanging over like that. Those were like that before they wilted. And on this side, you can see all these stems here are almost going, uh, they're not necessarily straight up, but even the one in the back here, see how this one's sticking straight up? And see, this just feels rigid. It feels very hard. It feels like it can support itself, no problem. These stems over here, they're like rubbery feeling. I've seen that plenty of times when I've used colorful lights, you know, like this where you have a, a engineered spectrum, as they would call it, uh, red, blue dominant. So that's the only thing since the last episode that I needed to say, and I did have plenty of other flowers growing here, um, and it was probably going to start producing fruit soon. So let that be a lesson to anyone out there who is new to hydroponics. You always need to check your reservoir especially with larger plants. You need to check it, you need to change your solution, um, you need to top it off and to be on your game. And this is the first time this has happened to me. Um, I haven't ever had this problem, uh, but these were such thirsty plants and I, I, I did not get around to it in time. Uh, I was just actually gonna come check it and top it off uh, that the evening that I caught it. So here's the solution. And this is probably gonna please a lot of you out there because since this plant here wasn't completely dead, uh, what I did right away, because I knew there was no chance of reviving any of this, even if both of these plants are still alive uh, and can still repair themselves, the experiment is basically is done. 
So what I've done is I've taken cuttings from this plant here under the white light. This is the most healthy one. Um, this one is way off, way worse off right now compared to this one. I, I don't really know why that is. They, the roots were both in the same reservoir, but this one looked way worse than this one did. So I took cuttings from this one and I am cloning them. So what we're gonna do is the next experiment uh, in episode 15, we're gonna continue this on. Uh, it's gonna be a while from now, but I'm gonna regrow clones and we're gonna do clones on each side because I, I know a lot of people want to see that. In, in my experience, um, for, the, for what I'm doing here, it's not totally necessary because even if you do clones, they're not necessarily gonna grow at the same rate even though they're identical uh, genetically. So we're gonna do that though. We're gonna, I already got these uh, in water. We're gonna root them and we're gonna clone them and we're gonna do episode 14. It's gonna be a while from now, but we're gonna pick right up where we left off uh, when the plants are about the same size. So I'm sorry I've let a lot of you down uh, in this particular experiment, but it's not over. I've let myself down mostly and I'm very disappointed uh, Just being being busy all the time. It's so hard to, to check everything and remember to do stuff uh, and to be around so That's it for this episode um, I will see you in episode 14. I do apologize, but thanks for watching. We'll see you later